So the last thing I said before I left the house to my wife was, okay, I've got everything I need. I have all of the SD cards, except for the one in my Sony. But thankfully it's a dual card slot, so I had the other one, which I formatted because we were in the mountains last night taking pictures. Let's just do another take, because you know, you always forget something. First of all, this video is sponsored by Diablo. And here's the reason why, the Diablo rebar cutting bit. I'm really happy to partner with Diablo on this video, because as you can see, we pour and, uh, form and pour our own concrete. We do the framing and the siding. And oftentimes, for a variety of reasons, one of which is that we're forgetful, we will have to install wedge anchors after the fact. That means we have to drill the concrete. Inevitably, we hit rebar. This bit is a standard bit for drilling concrete. It's gonna do a great job all day long. They last a long time, they're not very expensive. They work really well until you hit rebar. When that happens, immediately pull the tool out and replace it with the rebar cutting bit. Now this has typically been our standard way of doing it. In fact, listen. You can actually hear the rebar in it. I think you can even see it. That's the rebar. You drill through with this bit until you feel like you've gotten through the rebar and you're hitting concrete. As soon as you hit concrete, pull it out. This is only made for drilling rebar. It drills concrete and it drills rebar. So one of the big reasons why these don't work well is the percussive action as your rotary hammer is going, it's drilling and it has the percussive mo motion. The bit gets hot and it will break off. But these are designed to withstand the heat. So now we have a one bit solution. Just cut concrete. If it hits rebar, don't worry about it. Just keep going. Significant time savings. So what I'm going to do is in this video, we poured a pier pad about two months ago. We were pouring a garage slab, had a little bit of extra concrete and we just loaded it up with rebar. So I'm virtually guaranteed to hit rebar, but what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna draw lines because somebody was smart enough to leave it hanging out a little bit so we could draw the straight line. That all clear as mud? Then I've done my job well. All right, so this is the half inch rebar cutting bit from Diablo. This is just our older bit that is not made for rebar. If you've ever drilled concrete and hit steel or rebar, you can tell instantly. Sometimes the bit jams, other times you just wonder, I should be making progress and I'm not. <laughs> That's because you hit steel. That's exactly what happened right there. But now notice that when I'm using this rebar cutting bit from Diablo, and I'll be completely transparent, I did drill a few holes to make sure that it worked. It worked. So that's why the steel is a little blue on the end, because it gets hot drilling that rebar. You can tell too the sound changes when you go from concrete to rebar back to concrete. And, and I also want to be very transparent. I sped up a lot of the drilling in post-production because it would be a very long, tedious video. But as soon as I've cut through the steel and then I cut through the, the um, concrete itself, I'm going to go ahead and drill a hole just to show that immediately after drilling the rebar, that bit is still hot. In fact, it's hot all the way up to the roto hammer itself. I learned that one when I took it off. Again, this video is sped up, but notice that it just drills through the concrete without any issues. Now, what I wanted to show in this particular video clip, and I'll be honest, I was aiming directly for the rebar and kind of got off center there a little bit, is that the bit, even off center, is cutting the steel. It gets hot. Also, you see that the dust, this is what we do not want in our lungs, that's the silica. Now I pull that out, I can drill another hole. You notice that that tip is hot. It's got that blue, bluish color to it. No trouble at all drilling concrete after drilling steel a couple of times in a row. And there it is. I got about three quarters of that rebar.
Now there's one more note that I would like to make for this video. You see a variety of manufacturers make some on-site dust collection tools and it works really well. We do not want silica getting into our lungs. Um, I've watched videos in respirator training classes where individuals with like black lung, it will literally solidify their lungs. So in this video, no one else is around. I'm gonna go ahead and wear a dust mask. The bits are just too long for this to work. But you hear that? As soon as I pull the trigger, the vacuum kicks in. Anyway, I'm taking all the safety precautions. Look up the OSHA silica uh, rules. This is not one of those things that you wanna take lightly. It's not like you get a little dust in, you cough it out and you're good to go. That stuff stays in there and it forms scar tissue. Replace it with one of these and you drill until you think that you've got it. A clean hole through the rebar. How about we do this again? <laughs> Times we have to drill. Oh, I forgot it. Okay, back. Okay, you're probably wondering how come I don't look dirty? This is a construction site. Because it's Saturday. So I got my nice freshly laundered shirt. Okay, so this video, I'm partnering with Diablo. 